With bandwidth-hungry technologies like AI, cloud computing, and ultra-high-speed data services exploding worldwide, it's more important than ever to understand the fiber-optic systems powering this digital revolution. This guide walks you through everything you need to know, from the structure and types of optical fiber to the essentials of cabling, real-world applications, and the mind-blowing innovations shaping the next generations of fiber technology. What is fiber optics? Fiber optics is a technology that transmits signals through extremely thin strands of optical fiber, often as small as a human hair, typically made of glass. Though plastic is used in some applications to a lesser extent. Fiber optics is the most advanced transmission medium available, offering exceptional performance across a wide range of applications. In this system, information such as voice, video or data is first converted from digital electrical signals into light, transmitted over long distances and then decoded back into its original electrical form. Because the signals travel as light pulses, fiber optics enables communication over very long distances, often tens of kilometers. When used with optical amplifiers and other advanced technologies like forward error correction and digital signal processing, fiber optics can transmit signals across thousands of kilometers making it the medium of choice. For transoceanic cable systems. In addition to its ability to span great distances, fiber optics is immune to electromagnetic interference and supports extremely high data transmission rates. This is due to the vast amount of available optical spectrum which spans thousands of gigahertz. What is the structure of optical fibers? In its simplest form, an optical fiber consists of a core of silica typically doped with germanium to elevate its refractive index above the surrounding pure silica cladding. Having an inner core with a refractive index higher than that of the cladding is a requirement for transmission to happen. In specialized types of optical fiber, such as pure silica core fiber, the core is composed of pure silica, while the surrounding cladding is doped with materials that reduce its refractive index relative to the core. A third layer made of plastic protects the glass fiber from breakage, prevents moisture intrusion and adds flexibility. In certain applications, such as enterprise networks, an additional outer coating may be applied over the primary coating layer to enhance strength and durability. How are optical fibers manufactured? The production of fiber optic strands starts with the creation of an ultra-pure silica glass preform, which incorporates both the core and cladding materials. This preform is made using one of two main techniques. Outside vapor deposition, OVD, in which silica soot is deposited outside a rotating target cylindrical road or modified chemical vapor deposition MCVD in which glass chemicals are deposited inside a rotating silica tube. Once the preform is ready it is heated in a drawing tower to extremely high temperatures typically between 3450 to 4000 degrees Fahrenheit and drawn into thin strands of optical fiber with a uniform diameter usually around 125 microns. Immediately after drawing, the fiber is coated with protective polymer layers to preserve its structural integrity and ensure optimal optical performance. The coated fiber is then wound onto spools with standard lengths ranging from 25 to 50 kilometers depending on manufacturing requirements. During the drawing process, the fiber is also subjected to high tensile stress, typically between 100 and 200 kpsi, to ensure its mechanical strength. What are the types of optical fiber? Optical fiber is generally categorized into two main types, single mode and multi-mode. 
In single-mode fiber, the core is extremely small, typically around 8 to 10 microns, and allows only one mode of light to propagate, enabling high bandwidth transmission over long distances. There are various types of single-mode optical fibers, each designed for specific applications and performance characteristics. These include the standard single-mode fiber designated by ITU as G.652 fiber used in many applications, cut-off shifted or G.654 fiber used in subsea cables and long links in terrestrial applications, non-zero dispersion shifted fiber such as G.655 fiber used in networks based on direct detection DWDM systems and bend insensitive fiber or G.657 fiber used in fiber to the home networks. Multimode fiber, on the other hand, has a larger core, commonly 50 microns, which makes it easier to couple light into the fiber and allows for the use of lower cost transmitters. An earlier version of multimode fiber featured even a larger core of 62.5 microns. While multimode fiber supports cost-effective electronics, despite the fiber itself being more expensive, it is well suited for short-reach applications such as those in data centers. However, it is limited in both transmission distance and, as data rates continue to increase across the industry, many organizations are shifting toward single-mode fiber, even for short-reach scenarios, due to single-mode fiber's superior performance and scalability. What is fiber optic cabling? Fiber optic cabling involves protecting and organizing optical fibers into a cable structure suitable for installation and long-term use. Since bare optical fiber is extremely thin and fragile, cabling is essential to provide mechanical protection, environmental resistance, and ease of handling during deployment. Various materials are used in cabling, including strength members, such as aramid yarn or fiberglass, water-blocking gels or tapes. Inside cables, individual fibers are typically held and organized in buffer tubes with up to 12 fibers per tube and, in some cases, up to 24. The outer jackets are made of materials such as PVC, PE or LSZH, low smoke, zero halogen, depending on the environment, whether indoor, outdoor, aerial, underground, or submarine. Tight buffered cables, in which each optical fiber is coated with a thick protective layer that is in direct contact with the fiber, are used in indoor environments and for short distance runs. Loose tube cables, with fiber strands housed loosely inside buffer tubes, are preferred for outdoor or long-haul installations due to their water resistance and thermal protection. Armored cables are designed for high-risk installations that require enhanced mechanical protection, such as direct burial deployments. The number of fiber strands in a cable can vary widely. Simplex or duplex cables contain one or two fibers for basic connections. Distribution cables typically have four to 24 fibers. Trunk or backbone cables can contain 48, 72, 144, or even thousands of fibers, including ultra-high density designs like the Corning Rocket Ribbon Cable, which packs a whooping 3456 fiber strands for backbones, data centers, or metro network applications. What are the applications of fiber optics? Fiber optics power a wide range of essential applications in both telecommunication and non-telecom applications. Telecommunication applications include core networks, terrestrial long-haul networks, submarine systems and 5G transport. Core networks, also known as backbone networks, 
are the central part of a telecommunications network that provide high-capacity, long-distance data transmission between major nodes, data centers, and other networks. They form the foundation of modern internet and communication infrastructure. Terrestrial long-haul networks are high-capacity fiber-optic communication systems that transmit data over long distances across land, typically spanning hundreds to thousands of kilometers. They form the backbone of national and continental telecommunications infrastructure and are critical for carrying internet, voice, video and enterprise data traffic between cities and countries. Submarine networks are high-capacity fiber-optic cable systems installed under oceans and seas to transmit data between continents and countries. They form the global backbone of the Internet, carrying more than 95% of international data traffic. 5G transport is the underlying network infrastructure that connects different elements of the 5G ecosystem ensuring that data flows reliably and with ultra-low latency between devices, radios and data centers. It is a critical component that enables the performance, scalability and flexibility that 5G promises. Fiber access network is the part of a telecommunications network that connects end users such as homes, businesses or cell towers to the core network using fiber optic cables. Intra and inter data center connectivity is the network infrastructure used to connect devices within a single data center or connect multiple data centers together, respectively. Both are essential for enabling high speed, low latency communication between servers, storage systems and applications. Beyond telecommunications, fiber optics play a vital role in military guidance systems. In distributed sensors such as those used in seismic and oceanographic research and for monitoring infrastructure, in medical applications such as endoscopy, as well as decorative lighting and illumination. How has fiber optics impacted how we communicate? Fiber optics has fundamentally transformed the way we communicate and connect with each other. Over the past four decades, transmission speeds in communication networks have skyrocketed from just a few megabits per second in the 1980s to an astounding 800 gigabits per second and continuing to grow. This represents an increase of approximately five orders of magnitude a leap made possible by the incredible capabilities of fiber optic technology. What is the future of fiber optics? Although we have achieved so much with fiber optics, the demand for more bandwidth continues unabated, driven by more bandwidth hungry applications. In addition to many communication innovations, the industry continues to develop innovative optical fiber capable of more capacity and other performance considerations. These fibers include multi-core fibers containing multiple optical cores within a single cladding, enabling parallel data transmission and significantly increasing capacity without increasing cable size. Few moded fibers support a limited number of propagation modes, allowing each mode to carry data independently much like separate fibers within a single strand. Hollow core fibers guide light through an air-filled central core instead of solid glass, reducing latency and non-linear effects, and are promising for ultra-fast, low-loss communications. As silica optical fibers near their attenuation limits, extensive research is being conducted to explore alternative materials such as Zeblan, that offer the potential of lower attenuation, enabling greater transmission distances and improved performance. For more in-depth knowledge in fiber optics and optical networking, consider signing up for OTT optical networking programs delivered by FiberGuide, Certified Optical Network Associate, Kona, Certified Optical Network Engineer, 
cone. Contact FiberGuide for a schedule of publicly scheduled classes or to arrange for a private on-site class at your location, anywhere in the world. Subscribe now to stay updated on all new video uploads. If you liked the video, a quick tap on the like button would mean a lot. Thanks for watching and goodbye.